Hi, I'm Jared from Photo to Canvas, and welcome to episode four of my fine art and photo printing series. Today we're talking about color space. Now this isn't ICC profiles or printer profiles or anything like that. This is the color space in which you are working on your digital file. That's within Photoshop, within Procreate, anything like that. It's the gamut of colors that you're working on digitally. Now there's three levels. There's sRGB, there's Adobe RGB 1998, and there's Pro Photo RGB. If you're a photographer and you're shooting in RAW, you don't need to worry about the color space setting in your camera as it only affects JPEGs. Okay, so the lowest gamut of colors is in the sRGB color space. And that's what you see on the internet, on your cell phones, on, your, on most screens, period, only show sRGB. The next step up is Adobe RGB 1998, which is what I print in. Now this is a significantly wider gamut of color than sRGB. On top of that, there's Profoto RGB. Now Profoto RGB is when you load your raw files into Lightroom or Photoshop or something like that, it's gonna work in Profoto RGB by default. It's the highest gamut of colors. But my printers and most commercial printers do not print in Profoto RGB. We print in Adobe RGB. Now this is a huge mistake that a lot of digital designers, artists, and photographers make. They all send me files to print in sRGB. That means you're significantly reducing the gamut of color you're using before you send me the file. Now in my opinion, you should always do your photo editing in ProPhoto RGB. If you're a digital designer or digital artist, you should create your canvases in Adobe RGB. And whenever you're gonna print, send it in Adobe RGB. If you're working in ProPhoto RGB and you're gonna print, export those files to print into Adobe RGB 1998. The only time you should ever be working in sRGB is if you're exporting for digital viewing of the image. So if you're wanting to post on Instagram or something like that, you want it to be in sRGB. If you're working in Adobe RGB and you export it in Adobe RGB and you upload that image to the internet, the colors might look funky because you never actually converted it and your device cannot show the Adobe RGB color gamut. So things are gonna look weird. So while I would always advise working with your files in Adobe RGB, if you're gonna send that file to be viewed digitally, make sure you convert it to sRGB first. Now this is super easy to do in Photoshop. You can go into your color settings and you can convert things here. What I personally do is I have my default workspace in Adobe RGB 1998. Now, anytime I open a file in Photoshop, which is where I print my images, it's gonna ask me if I either want to keep it in Adobe RGB 1998 or if I wanna convert it to Adobe RGB 1998 if it's not already in that color space. So you convert it. And then when you're exporting, you're given the option if you want to embed the Adobe RGB 1998, or you can then convert it to sRGB. And that's basically it. Profoto RGB, in my opinion, should just be used when you're editing your photos. So again, if you're a digital creator, then you want to create your canvas in Adobe RGB 1998 before you start working. And then when you're ready to print it, keep it in Adobe. If you're ready to share it online, convert it to sRGB. But basically, all you need to remember here is you ideally want to send me files in Adobe RGB. Or if you're printing yourself, you want to print your own files in Adobe RGB, unless your printer specifically says something different. And the other key thing to take away from this is if you're working in Adobe RGB and you want to display your file on a device, on a digital screen, you want to export that into sRGB. Now my monitor does show Adobe RGB, but my monitor is more than most people have. So that's it. Super quick lesson, but really important information. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tune in next week for the next video. Thanks and have a great day.